You think we need some new ramps? I think we need some new ramps. Between the two tractors and 30,000 miles of abuse, my trailer ramps were shot. Let's build some new ones. This is a DC stick welder and a 6,500 watt generator. This unit's gonna serve two obvious purposes. We need a power source at the farm, but we also need a portable welder. Building these ramps will be a test run for later on when we weld these big trusses together on the farm. We're gonna make hinged ramps, so we have to get some of this other stuff out of the way. This lip is the part where the old ramps used to hang. If you want a good weld with good penetration, you gotta do your prep work. The neat thing about this unit is that you have the ability to have 110 power, 240 power, and a welder all in one location. Another neat feature is the generator is big enough to power the essentials of your home in a power outage. It's been a good little while since I have done any stick welding. I was doing some sample welding, adjusting my amperage and getting everything about right. I believe 120 amps on a 1 8 inch rod of 7018. It's nothing to write home about, but it's not a bad looking weld. I didn't draw any plans up or really make any plans. I just kind of had a general idea of what I wanted to do and I started making it. Hey, stay with me. In just a minute, I'm gonna show you a time lapse of me making an entire ramp. I just found it fascinating to watch. Obviously this is not the time lapse, but this is where I started building the ramps. I had to cut out eight cleats for each side. I took the time to clean up each cleat with a good flap disc on my grinder. I use this portable welding table, basically it's my square. I can hear my old welding teacher in the background of my head going, clean your ground, clean your ground. I tack welded each cleat in one by one. This wasn't rocket science accuracy, but it worked. You can see by the red spot here, we're getting some good penetration. So this welder has some pretty high end features like arc force. Arc force helps the professional welder, but it really helps the amateur welder out a lot. No matter how good your welder is, well, should I say more? Arc force helps you to keep from sticking the rod by increasing the amperage if you get a little bit too close. And that really helps out the amateur welder, like myself. I'm just gonna use this big heavy pipe as a hinge. For all my professional welders out there, leave me a comment on how you would weld this pipe on. This is a little bit concerning for me. I welded hot and ended up laying three beads down both sides of the pipe. I feel pretty confident that I'll tear the uh, tail end of the trailer off before these ramps fail. I'm using this big one and eighth inch solid steel rod. That's gonna be my, my hinge point. I'm pretty embarrassed by that weld, but again, it's gonna hold. Here's that time lapse that I promised you, but wait till the end, there's a little bit more.
everybody needs a break every now and again. I'm gonna put some more time on this welder and give you a full review in a few months, but first impression, this thing is rock solid. Now I know what I'd look like with a mohawk. There's a certain satisfaction about painting it too. 